Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time to Don't give up what you want to get. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. It's the Raw Wrap-Up. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter on this Monday night, as you do, I realize, Mike, that I have been watching wrestling on Monday nights for the past 20 years. I got you beat by five. I, I know. I know. I was like getting back to it. Actually, no, 22. 22 years, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know. I know. I took a hiatus. I took a hiatus. I don't know what I did. Of course, with us is... Mad Mike in Poughkeepsie, New York. He is the only Mayhemer with a future endeavor letter from the WWE, and he's and he's here. He's well, dealing. Depending how depending how this goes, I may have two of those. <laughs> That's very possible, unfortunately, ah. because man, it was a raw. And 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 we are. I just want to. I just want to re- reiterate our our new mission statement, where um we are here to help you. Cope with your decisions, your life decisions on Monday night. Uh, and, and so glad to see you guys out there on the Facebook Live on Wrestling Mayhem Show out there. Uh, Larry, Larry left here. I think, Larry, be careful. It's snowing out there, and, and I'm pretty sure you haven't made it home yet from the from the studio here. Wheels, uh, uh, Jen Carlins, Dave Potter. Dave Potter had the best tweet. Hey, hey Siri, um, wake me up at 11 o'clock so I can <laughs> miss Raw and just catch the Raw wrap-up uh, was the he best thing I saw. Wrong. He was he, not he wrong. He made – that's somebody that made good life decisions. We're, we're, by, we're, by the way, by the way, I hate when I have to, quote, tweet myself mm-hmm. because I was right about something that I didn't want to oh, have in the first place. Oh, that was something. That was something. That, yeah, what, so, so, so we, had a, we had a Seth Rollins open challenge this evening. And as soon as soon as I saw the tweet last night, I'm like, it's gonna be fucking Dolph Ziggler. And you tweeted that last night? No, no, I I thought it in my brain. Yeah. I I tweeted it, uh, like in the first hour of Raw, and then it manifested into the world because oh, it's like the reverse secret. Someone, someone just used uh Sharpie. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Do you want to know something? Hmm. Seth Rollins. And Seth Dolph Rollins. Ziggler. Good guy. Seth Rollins and Dolph Ziggler. Yes. They have been on the opposite side of the ring from each other on television 24 times this year. 24 times. Sorg, this is the 48th week of the year. We have spent literally a half a fucking year watching these assholes wrestle. Yeah, what are we doing? Send Dolph to NXT, please, for the love of God. <laughs> it would help him. He can work Florida club scenes to work on his goddamn comedy routine. Oh, yeah. He would have, he would have better matches. Uh, give me Dolph Ziggler versus Velveteen Dream. Give me Dolph Ziggler versus EC3. Give me Dolph Ziggler versus Keith Lee. Give me Dolph Ziggler getting knocked out by Matt Riddle. Please, anything, 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 anything. Just don't give me Dolph Ziggler. Versus Seth Rollins no, ever the no. fuck again? Um, yeah, it, it was. There was a lot of I've seen this before. Um, this was a repeat. It was a repeat. I'm tired of seeing Baron and Finn. I am not terribly. I did not get to see the opening segment with Elias, um, but I did like in the background see the you know like three on one beatdown that he had. Um, I mean, this is a bad guys wins week. It's not supposed to be comfortable, but it wasn't. Um, you know. Like the highlight, the highlight for me. I'm with Tatiana in here, uh, <laughs> although she's saying with what is with uh, Maverick, the Maverick P jokes. I don't recall it being uh, an over joke at Survivor Series, and yet we're acting like they struck comedy gold with it. Because hey, t- Tatiana, uh, it's okay. Uh, we had a match tonight, and via distraction. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, and I go back to I, I and this has been said on podcasts that are, are that are higher rated than we are um, that we are talking about an audience of one here, and he's laughing his ass off in Gorilla. <laughs> Urine, it's funny. <laughs> I love it. 
love piss jokes. Uh, yeah, so that's where yeah, we're at yeah. with that. Right. Now, now to their credit, I think Maverick is doing his damnedest to get it over and being amazing. So if you're going to hand that to anybody, at least like it's him and Bobby Roode, you know, to deal with, right? At the very least. Um, I, I'm trying not to say turning it into gold because I don't want to go down that road, Mike. That's okay, Sorg. But you can, you also can't shower them with praise. Damn it, we went there. <laughs> we have to. And uh, by the way, uh, congratulations to Alexa Bliss, the leader of the knockouts. Uh, <laughs> congratulations, congratulations, oh, Alexa. I can't. I think leader I said of the knockouts. At least it's not Brooke Hogan. She basically is at this point. She kind of is. She kind of is. Um, yeah, she's turned into the Karen Jarrett clone. Oh, yeah. She was, oh, Watch she out, was Kurt. That. Watch out, Kurt. Watch out, Watch out uh, AJ. Hey. Oh, boy. Um, uh, I, Sorg, I don't, we, I don't even know what to, what to say with this. Wheel, Wheels enjoyed watching his E-Fed on Twitch before more than Raw. That's fair. Uh, send, Sal, send Rollins to, to SmackDown from Alex no, out there. No, no, no. Send Ziggler to NXT. Rollins is not the problem. Rollins is fine. Yeah, no. Ziggler is the problem because he is drier than Bobby Lashley's taint. And, and I know how dry that is because Lashley bends over every match. That is a strangely specific. Yes. Okay. Um, You're welcome. Everyone, everyone, just get that visual. Just get that visual. Just let that sink in. Just close just your let eyes it marinate. as you listen to this podcast. Lashley, Lashley. I um, live speed high date chases all day Saturday or WWE Raw. <laughs> That's how they roll in L.A. Apparently, from Alex. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> Tia says it's a strange, strange observation. observation. Yes. Yeah, I, I have those from time to time. By the way, Sorg, Sorg, I have another question for you. Okay. It's a fun question. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, how many times in the year of the man, 2018? <laughs> Wait, why is it the year of the man? Because I didn't want to say the year of our Lord. Because okay. It's the year. It's the year of the man, 2018. Okay. Um, how many times? Has Finn Balor won a singles match on television with the coup de gras? Just, just take a guess. On television, singles match, no tag I, team I have, matches, I have no idea. Matches. Probably, probably never, right? Twice. 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 It's so strange how you have these very specific it's less, numbers. It's less than a month until Christmas, folks. Me, ah, uh... yeah. And and a spoiler alert: We're gonna have two count them two taped raws next month. Well, well. So now, oh wow. So now, yeah. So now you want to may as well have a highlight package. Um, one of them. Um, <laughs> too sweet. <laughs> good, I just think like, Finn Balor yeah. is just you know sitting on Santa Claus's uh, uh lap, asking all I want is a is a coup de gras win for all Christmas. He wants is a, all he wants is a title win. All I want. Like, see, th the fucked up thing is, I could take five Xanax and book a better Raw. <laughs> and Larry, uh, Larry yelled at the end of Raw, what the hell, those writers need Ritalin. <laughs> no, they they need something else. Yeah. I, um, I don't... <sighs> Listen, okay, like, okay. See, I, I don't want to say, I feel like, I, we're like I, I get we're doing the heel storyline. Mm -hmm. I get we're doing the heel authority figure, fine, whatever. We've done it before. We've suffered through it before. We'll suffer through it again. It always sucks. Mm -hmm. But uh, this time, there's no conquering hero. I, okay, listen, for, for, uh, I, I want to come around to one thing that I liked and I have a theory about. But first of all, Marcus Mann, uh, hi, guys, long-time <laughs> listener, first-time commenter. Nia Jax sounds like a Muppet. I'll hang up and listen. <laughs> Syracuse, you're on the line. <laughs> Ottawa, what do you got for me? Uh, oh, God. Nia, Nia Jax. Whoa, doctor. Um, you, did, why? You, did you watch Starcade? <sighs> this is not that show, but did no, you watch Starcade? no. Don't no, and I'm not going to. Yeah, I, I, 
I, you had Elias yeah. and you had Ric Flair. I'll probably have to. At some so point, but... much was going for it. And then Nia tried to sing. <sighs> no, I what don't care about we... that. Because she's a heel, she's supposed to try and sing badly. We, yeah. that, that's fine. That's what they character. So but awkward. her talking. Mud on. Like, uh, uh, can we get an acting coach? Like, can we rebook, like, everything from WrestleMania <laughs> and just switch Nia with Sasha <sighs> and Tamina with Bailey? Yeah. Oh, they have bad segment of the night. Why does Alexa Bliss always get these really horrendous segments like like she did tonight? Cause she did. She had that. This is your life with like what? Vicky oh, James or something and, ages was, ago. And to be fair, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. No, I thought there were going to be planted people who would ask like really terrible questions. Like Bailey, what did it feel like to lose to Alexa Bliss in your hometown in front of your parents? Like, or Sasha, don't you miss Eddie Guerrero? He died recently. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I just thought it was going to be terrible questions. Yeah, like, yeah. But God, it wasn't even that. It was just. <sighs> um. Also, can we have a a, a moratorium on on um, show and tell with video packages? Hi, I'm going to come to the ring in front of this live crowd. And cue this footage mm -hmm. as I go. I I think we're missing the point of a live show at that point. Yes. Um, and also, it's not like someone just rolls in. We uh, like, excuse me, like show one thousand three hundred thirty-two, and like, hey, let's try this and see see what the storylines are. No one does that. No, 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 no. We, we, and plus, that's what the the video package in the opening of Raw is for. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do it in an interview segment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Tina, hey, Sorg, did you know that Ric Flair was at the first arcade? Apparently, they said it every, like, 15 minutes or five minutes to be something. fair it's the only person from the first arcade they can still talk to because he's the only one alive uh it was 30 years ago and and wrestling in the 80s guys uh yeah yeah um, cocaine's a hell of a drug and i, I, I want to say i i feel like we're being very emergency uh wrestling fans um and and i i do like question my life choices on monday nights after a show like we had tonight um, and I also realize as bad as Raw was, that means there's even more of you in the chat room. Let's, so I'm trying to do the math on this. Um, the, the, if, if, if the rest of the wrestling world wasn't as good as it was, like I finished watching SmackDown today and I'm very happy. Um, then, you know, this, I don't, there's hope, just not on Monday nights, right? Um, I don't know. Lars is going uh, to Raw. I can't get excited about Lars going to Raw, guys. I, L Lars didn't get me excited in NXT. Right, Lars you know who I want to see go to Raw? The Velveteen Dream. I even, no, I want him on SmackDown. I just, yeah. I want him to be interesting on SmackDown and not in a conga line on Raw. That's, well, all right. No way Jose was never going to be a world title contender. No, but I am just think if you put Velveteen Dream on Raw, they're going to look him up and down and be like, see you in the conga line. Yeah. Um, see, you say that, and my counterpoint is Andrade Cien Almas. What do you mean? He hasn't done anything on SmackDown. Um, well, well, also, here's Ty Dillon. Here's the also Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke. Uh, mm -hmm. Nope. Nope. You know who did get to keep keep their specialness at least like out of the gate and didn't have to get rebuilt up was Oscar. Oscar. Carmella. Um, Carmella. Yeah. She didn't. Carmella's never lost it. Carmella has. Carmella has been the best booked NXT call up. Wow. Fight me. Fight me on wow. this. Wow. Fight me on this. I guarantee you, you will lose. Carmella has been the best booked NXT 
call up, and I'm not joking. Kevin Owens? Oh, yeah. Let's let's put Kevin Owens. Let's give granted he got the universal title. Yeah. Only to lose to Goldberg. Well, he's but yeah, 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 yeah. weeks only weeks of they're great TV. To punk him. They're trying to see him punk him. Okay. Um, and they're I, gonna succeed. I disagree. God. And they worked him into the ground so much that he had to get both of his knees operated on. Okay, all right. Um. <laughs> I love Kevin Owens. Believe me, I am the American Kevin Owens. <laughs> but he has been booked so shittily. Alexa? Um... You cannot, okay, I'll, I'll you grant, cannot I'll grant, deny I'll Alexa. Alexa. I'll grant you Alexa. I'll and I know you I'll have problems. And I know you have problems with Elias and how he's been booked. Yep. I and I, I fully disagree on these points, by the way. Um I don't Alex, I don't consider Seth Rollins an NXT call up. Yeah, he's pre NXT as we know it, right? Yeah. We're we're yeah. talking uh, we're I'm talking, talking post, post we're network talk- we're talking NXT arrival on. We're talking net, yeah. WWE Network era NXT, right? Yeah. So guys, so guys like Big E, Xavier Woods, yeah, um, Cesaro, stuff like that. They don't count. Mm. I'm talking. I'm talking post arrival. Yeah, Big E is like right on the line of that. I think, if I recall. No, no, Big E was already on main roster, uh, teaming with Dolph and AJ as part of Team Rocket. Huh. Yeah, Team Rocket. <laughs> wow, he was. Page. Yeah. Page yeah. is getting called up here. Uh, well, didn't really work out for her. Well, did it? Well, no. And plus, she won the title on her first night. That's yes. not good booking. That's obtaining the maximum of what you can do in your division in moment one. Mm. It was literally all downhill from there. Mm. Mm. Um, I, I don't have anybody else for you right now. I, I'll, I'll work on this. Um, some more, Joe. No. <laughs> Samoa Joe still has not had a WrestleMania match. Yeah, in two years. Yeah, that's a problem. And I told you that shit would happen. Let's see. Not Bobby Roode. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what has this show turned into? All right. Um, uh, it's a valid question. And honestly, apart from Alexa, which I'll grant, Carmel's had the best book of any NXT call. Strangely, one of the parts that I can look to tonight as uh, the most entertaining to me uh, was uh, Dean Ambrose getting his shots. Yeah, fuck that. Which I wonder, I was trying to no, do that. I, I, don't, I don't like any Dean Ambrose segment anymore because right after it, they cut back to Renee so they're, and they're like, so, your home life must be pretty shitty, huh? I'm waiting for her to just like flip out on them no, and say, she's... fuck you guys, I'm going to SmackDown. And, and Tina, Charlotte has not been booked that well at all. Mm. She's always been cast against type. I no, disagree. she's been disagree. booked as a babyface when she should be a heel, and she's been booked as a heel when she should be a babyface. Disagree, disagree. She's, All right, she's making, she's she's on fire, has been on fire. She's like the the. By the way, rem- remember when they wouldn't let her break Nikki Bella's uh, uh, title title streak on Raw, and they had to do it later, and they did the fake dusty finish I... where they had Ric Flair come out. Yeah, that was real great booking. I that was great. That was really good stuff. Don't know. That was really good. That was really good. <laughs> and then they did it a week later when it didn't fucking matter at all. Yeah, that was great. That was good stuff. That was her first title win, guys. Mm. By the way, remember when Charlotte won all those titles and then lost almost every single one of her first defenses on TV? That was awesome. We could have just had given her one long reign, but no, she had to lose every single time she defended it on TV and win it back every single time she had a pay-per-view match. It was getting a little ridiculous, the back and forth yep. there. Yeah. Uh, Sasha never got to hold on the belt for very long either. No, Sasha. I think Sasha's held the belt cumulatively for less time than Mick Foley. Ooh. That's saying something. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Well, we're way off on the Raw thing. Um, <laughs> it's okay. Uh, raw I, was very off on I Raw. Didn't, I didn't even get to my, you know, I, I'm trying to figure out if Dean, Dean Ambrose segment was a pro vaxxer or anti vaxxer statement by the WWE. Well, technically, he wasn't getting any vaccines. He was just getting shots. I thought he was getting vaccines. No, he. There's no rabies vaccine. Oh, well, uh, no? No. No. 
Maybe he got bit by a raccoon. No, no. See, the whole segment doesn't make sense because all the shots, except for the flu shot, all the shots Dean was getting are shots you get once you have contracted said disease. Right. Which he didn't have any of those. So really, he's a drain on the economy. <laughs> and there's your statement about Raw in general, guys. Yeah. Mike, yeah. should I even, even ask? Michael, even Michael Cole said, none of this makes any sense. Yeah. We feel you. Yeah, well, every time uh, the announcer yells, this is ridiculous, or this doesn't make any sense, or what are we doing? I mean, we're saying it right with you guys, and um, I, I don't even know. I... <laughs> I'm watching Lucha Underground uh, pants and saying, I'm guessing he's saying pantsless. Oh, pantsless yeah, all, all four, season four. All that's, season four. That's, that's a solid use of your that time. That sounds like a good holiday weekend. Jeez. Mm-hmm. That's solid. Uh, jeez. Well, it was raw and it happened and we'll, we'll have to sleep this off. Uh, I'm not even, I'm not even doing a watchable count on those no, guys. It, no, no, Sorg, Sorg, ask me. Oh, damn. You're going to make me ask you? Yeah, ask me. Really? We, we have, Sorg, it's the gimmick. We have to ask. It is the gimmick. Matt, Mike, how much of Raw was watchable for you this week? Zero minutes. Zero minutes. That, am, that's, 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 I, that's zero minutes. I was okay. I like Drake Maverick. Was I like Drake Maverick. <sighs> like Sorg. He brought a monochrome of entertainment to a P-based segment. Mm, okay. By the I, way, I hope uh, I hope Ronda gets rid of her pink eye. She had, she had some really bad pink eye. You saw it, right? No, no not enough attention. Look, look, ter- look terrible. Ugh. Ugh. Look terrible. Boy. Uh, why why are Ronda and Nia both feuding with better women on different shows? <laughs> uh, because Charlotte and Becky make everything better. Yes, they do. Mm-hmm. Well, Look, I, I, I wish. I... Well, Mike, you know what this means? At least we have Tuesday to look forward to. Because one, it's SmackDown, which is a better show. And two, we do have the Wrestling Mayhem show live here at 9 p.m. Eastern Time on which Facebook Live. Which is a much live, better show. Which, <laughs> uh, Facebook Live, I'll leave the, you guys to the side. Uh, we will have somebody who will you will see more of in the near future. Lee Moriarty is going to be joining us from Rise Wrestling, the first ever Rise Wrestling Grand Champion uh, on the show tomorrow night. And we'll ask his opinions about shots and pee jokes, I guess. Um, I don't know. Maybe th- maybe that we'll go there. We'll check in on his lion face and his lemon face that we left him with some oh advice last yes. time he was yep. on. So we got to check in on that one. I know we've kind of been poking at that on the on the social media with him a little bit, if you're following uh, that saga. Uh, so he is going to have a pretty serious match with Derek Direction at uh, the Rise Wrestling uh, second anniversary show. Um, also, uh, uh, from the chat, I want to just update here. Uh, Tina is saying that 12, 15 to 20 minutes was watchable. I'm curious what segment that was. Um, I think she just likes some of the commercials. Oh, okay. sure, sure. <laughs> I, I, mean, I was trying to think of like any commercial, but whenever I think of Raw, all I can think of is the Popeye's chicken c- commercial. And also, they were very excited when they opened up. They Hey, Dude, they po- they opened up a Popeye's chicken back home, mm-hmm. like not in my town, but in the most important town next to my town, and like it was like they had to have police traffic control it. That is is Popeye's chicken like that serious? It's it's pop. The I've only had Popeye's chicken once. I have never, and it gave me wicked diarrhea. <laughs> Popeye's chicken, never going to sponsor this show. <laughs> Load that chicken for Popeye's. It's the only ad that's, like, consistent for me these days. I don't – it's it's catchy as fuck. Uh, <laughs> I I don't even know what yeah, to I do mean, with that. Maybe maybe it's because I went to a Popeye's chicken in the Bronx. Oh, man. Yeah, Potentially yeah, true. Yeah, that's like I'm really – Potentially I'm, true. I'm not about but- – I'm not, I'm not about the, the 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 Popeye's chicken on the south side. I, I just because honestly, Wicked Diarrhea typically doesn't throw me off from a franchise. I still eat a Taco Bell quite frequently, but it also didn't taste very good. Mm. Um, 
I was. To, oh yeah. Hey, we're also gonna have an interview night here this Thursday, um, 7 p.m. Eastern and 8 p.m. Eastern, respectively. We're gonna have Bronco McBride, and then we're gonna have uh, Marshall Gambino. And I understand that he's gonna be bringing a guest, Mike. He's gonna be bringing Wait. his cousin with <gasps> him. Oh my God, Sorg! Sorg, is that who I think it is? Yes, it is. Is that someone whose taint I've probably seen at one point? What? Wait, wait, what? Yeah. I mean, haven't we all? I, I Yeah, I guess so. Um, no, yeah. <laughs> j- d- delicious Jimmy DeMarco. Um, oh, 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 just hearing that name. Delicious. Yeah. You don't understand like how often I see this guy in the neighborhood. Uh, you know, we're adjacent to Ozone Park, New York. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But uh, he, he, he's been announced on the next IWC and the, uh, the upcoming uh, Prospect Pro Wrestling shows. Oh, so man. we're going to talk Sorry. to Marshall about his, reti- his own retirement and starting a new promotion uh, and everything on Thursday. Um, and, of course, this weekend, Rise Wrestling and I'm, Black I'm Diamond. I'm sure Marshall's promotion will do well because they've always been pretty good at moving around. Why is my picture on my Facebook profile the pic from like 10 years ago of me with long hair doing the move this sign at baseball <laughs> to him? Like he retagged me and now I can't get rid of the picture. Hey, Gambino brothers, move, move this. Uh, oh, I was recounting, uh, with, I was recounting with the young fans about the days when we threw change at Dennis Gregory's feet. Oh, uh, he, he's such a bum. He's such a bum still to this day. Yeah, I, I, I I know he's a much more accomplished bum, but he's a fucking bum. Sort. <laughs> I really wish we should just all show up to a KSWA show and just re restart the because I mean that crowd will get into it. Oh yeah. <laughs> if we get Chad the Shed start the bum chance it's, again. There's beer there too, so I mean Oh the, Jesus. They're gonna it's they're gonna have, they're gonna have NWA champion Nick Aldis at that show. Wow, and Sam Adonis um, and and Paps Blue Ribbon. I'm uh, that's that's a triple threat right there. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, I love those guys down there. Anyway, Jesus uh, Christe. <laughs> I gotta drag you to one of those shows. You'd enjoy it. Um, what else is going on? That's, uh, I don't uh, know. That's enough. That's enough. Any wrestling that US new content? I actually have a pull up on Twitter that should be done by now to see what we're gonna post this week. Uh, leave it up to you guys, the fans, and also check out the uh, Breakfast with Champions that we posted last week. More on the way uh, in the coming weeks uh, of Breakfast with Champions. We'll be doing a recording soon of Duke and Doe's Hardcore Memories. Lots of content for you wrestling fans. Thank you so much. Drag Queen Bingo is always a great time. What? So much better than Raw tonight. <laughs> I, I mean... I- I think I saw pictures from Dave from Drag Queen uh, Bingo. Listen, I you had me at Drag Queen, and then you added Bingo to the equation. I'm in. I'm in. Where you gotta find? You gotta tell me where this is in Pittsburgh. Uh, anyways, Mike, Mad Mike four eighty three on the Twitter. Yeah. Will you um, be, you be there tomorrow night? Oh, Sorg, I would never miss a mayhem show. Translation, I have nothing better to do than being on the podcast. That's not true. <laughs> I have plenty of other things I could be doing. Mm-hmm. I could be Christmas shopping. Mm-hmm. I could be watching SmackDown. Mm-hmm. I, I could be playing with Legos. You don't know. I Shit, I could do all those things while I'm on the show because I'm that damn good. There's a challenge. There's a challenge right there. Yes. See what you can build during the Mayhem show. Absolutely. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. This has been your Raw Wrap-Up. Uh, until next time, please, ladies and gentlemen, stay safe and keep it raw. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. wait for the perfect time then attack. Don't give up what you want. Take it back. Wait for the perfect time then attack. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at Sorgatron Media.